we all know that in America, many people dislike Donald Trump. But it turns out in England, they also don't like him. <laughs> Mr. Trump and the First Lady also visited Windsor Castle for his first meeting with Queen Elizabeth, which had some awkward moments. As the visit was taking place, tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets of London carrying signs with messages like, Trump not welcome and dump Trump. The streets of London swelled with tens of thousands of people protesting President Trump, including an inflatable Trump baby blimp. <laughs> you gotta give Trump props, man. I will say, it's impressive how protests follow him everywhere, right? Do you ever think about that? Like, protests go everywhere Trump is. He's like that dirty kid from Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, he just carries the resistance wherever he goes. <laughs> like, at this point, I just imagine protesters even following him into the bathroom, just chanting, this is what democracy smells like! <laughs> and if the British disliked Trump before he arrived, his visits only made things worse. The president breached British protocol by publicly disclosing the details of a conversation he had with Queen Elizabeth. He broke royal protocol by walking in front of the queen, but she quickly stepped forward to correct the error. He also today had tea with the queen. He did keep her waiting for 10 minutes. Video recorded the very punctual 92-year-old queen checking her watch prior to the president's arrival. Good Lord. Is there... Is there any rule he didn't break? It's like President Trump in hot water after pushing the queen into the royal swimming pool. <laughs> For more on Trump's UK visit, we're joined by an actual British person, Gina Yashere, everybody! <laughs> Gina, um... In the US, in the US, Trump's UK visit seemed to not go so well, but as a British person, what do you think? <laughs> It was an unmitigated disaster, Trevor. <laughs> this cockwumble... <laughs> yeah, that's what I called him. He came, came to our country and insulted us. I mean, look what he did to our queen. <laughs> he's cutting her off like he's trying to beat her to the early bird special. <laughs> look, it wasn't just the protocol that he messed up. Trump was straight rude. He insulted our prime minister on tape before he even met with her, and then he blamed the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, for terrorism. Obviously, because he's Muslim and it must have been one of his cousins. Wow. <laughs> you know, like, after this, I, I bet you wish that Trump had never come at all. <laughs> Are you kidding? On the contrary, I wish he'd pop by more often. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 Gina, you just said that everyone in Britain hated it. Exactly. Everyone. The United Kingdom has never been so united. <laughs> Look, Brexit tore us apart, but Donald Trump brought us back together. <laughs> I mean, before him, nobody cared about the royals. We were like, they don't work, they do nothing. Our taxes pay for them to live on posh welfare. Their downtown abbey meets shameless. But Trump walks in front of our queen, and I was like, but this is the mother of our nation, damn it! <laughs> She's the jewel in our crown. Put this man in stocks and slap his balls with a wet crumpet. <laughs> slap... Slap his balls with a wet crumpet? <laughs> Look, nobody wins here, Trevor. His balls get crushed, and we waste a perfectly good crumpet. <laughs> Is. Trump's visit has been good for the UK. He inspired us to get our literary juices flowing. I mean, look at how creative our, pro our protest signs were. Look, bellend. I mean, that's the head of a penis. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> it's poetic. <laughs> Trump also got British Jamaicans to come to the fray. I have never seen Bomber Clark written on a sign before. <laughs> This is progress. Look, we even came up with our own new curse words. I mean, here's my personal favourite. Wank maggot. <laughs> it's beautiful. It rolls off the top. Look, Trevor, I've heard of wanker. I've heard of maggot. <laughs> but I never considered the power of the combination. <laughs> They were so good, they inspired me to come up with my own Trump insults. Scone fiddler. <laughs> <laughs> biscuit. 
And here's a good one. Westminster Flabby. <laughs> Well, Gina, if, if you guys enjoyed having Trump so much, why don't you keep him, then? <laughs> yeah, nice try, Trevor. Look, <laughs> Trump is like a baby nephew. You dropped him off, he shat himself. <laughs> you can have him back now. Gina Yashere, everybody! <laughs>